Hello everyone, this is chapter 4, part 2. In this part, we will talk about hypothetical regression model. So we are building up on empirical resources that we have as uh, managerial econ students. So hypothetical regression model is a regression line that shows the average or expected value of y for each level of x. We also have the true or actual underlying relationship between y and x that is unknown. This is what I said, holy object, right, to the researcher, but is to be discovered by analyzing the sample data. So for instance, this is a regression line. This is the true, true relationship between y and y dependent variable and x independent explanatory variable so we we sometimes put i's here for individual observations to relate to data right i could be for instance a sales by an individual company i that signifies company i and x i here is going to be company i's advertising spending okay so this is a true relationship and we also have the regression line regression line the estimated this is going to be the estimated relationship y i right a plus b x i however we are going to have heads on this one because this true relationship as i said is a holy object we don't know so y i will also have head that's the estimated y estimated sales right a head and B head are also estimated. Regression analysis helps us to estimate these variables. Then we plug in parameters. Then we plug in these parameter estimated parameter coefficient estimates in here. And then plug in any value of xi to get the estimated value. Okay. So in the true relationship, we add something called error term, stochastic error term. This is an epsilon i. This is stochastic random error term error term this captures any random shocks to the model okay we'll talk about that in a second so random error term stochastic random error term right added to any regression line to relationship to signify there is some random cons uh, component so random error term, epsilon i, stochastic error term, unobservable, stochastic, stochastic, or random. These are synonym error term, okay? Unobservable term added to a regression model to capture the effects of all minor unpredictable factors that affect y but cannot reasonably be included as an explanatory variable. Okay, we'll talk about these. So this is the example we had, uh, the relationship between the monthly sales. This is the S sales. You can write SI. And this is the advertising expenditure, monthly advertising expenditure. So imagine that this is a true relationship between monthly sales and expenditure on advertising. Okay. So as you can see, this has, so S equals A plus B. B, A. So this is a true relationship. Normally we don't know this, but let's say this is what is there, the true relationship, which basically says that if my advertising spending is equal to zero, my sales are going to be $10,000. Okay. And what's the relationship? What's the slope of this line? Right. What's the slope of this line? So it is five slope is equal to five that's the b right and basically if you spend no money on advertising your sales are going to be ten thousand dollars five slope means and this is how it's calculated right delta y over delta x slope beta so which means this translates to English as if I spend one dollar on advertising, my sales are going to increase. Sales will increase by five dollars. That's a really great impact. And this is the true relationship. So we don't know this relationship, right? But we have data, right? So we have data on this 
and let's take a look at the effect of random effects on January sales. So true relationship of expected sales is this, right? Let's say if I spend $3,000, the true model is to generate $25,000 of sales. However, there are some random shocks that can happen in that period. So let's take a look at different travel agencies. These are all data points. So three different agencies, their sales in January, Tampa Travel Agency, right? They spent $3,000, Buccaneer Travel Service, they spent $3,000, Happy Getaway Tours, they spent $3,000. So all these companies spend, this is the S variable, true S value, they all spent $3,000. Actual sales, so this is the real Y they experienced, so SI, YI, I stands for different, right, companies. So Tampa Travel Agency actually made $30,000 of sales in reality. Buccaneer Travel Agency, Travel Service, they made 21, then they made 25. So expected sales, right? This is the expectation we are looking for. We expect this, so I'm going to, uh, we expect this sales to be all of them to have $25,000 sales, okay? What happened is that, look, random effect is going to be like actual sales minus expected sales, right? Expected, when I say expected, what the model predicted, okay? So this is your prediction. Prediction says these all have to make $25,000 of sales. However, actual sales differ from them. So how do I find the error term? So this is, we will use little... EI, this is estimated, right? This is called residual. So this is the holy object again, folks. We can't, you know, really know the random, truly random things that might happen. But residual is the estimated uh, random stochastic error term. We'll define residual in next slides, okay? Real value, actual sales, 30,000 minus 25 expected sale. Random effect here you actually had plus 5,000 more sales here actual sales y minus expected sales $25,000 right negative 4,000 so there's an error and the last one 25 minus 25 the error term the residual is zero the random effect is zero so in this case it was actually predicting 100% here the numbers were off so you can determine the expected sale, that's what the model will predict, but actuality will be deviating slightly from the expected sales, okay? So let's talk about different data we have in economics. Time series data, a data set in which the data of the dependent and exploratory variables are collected over time for a single firm. So for instance, Tesla, okay, Tesla stock price stock price okay so if you actually look at tesla stock price it is so you're looking at stock price and tesla okay uh ad spending i don't know any variable that might affect or uh ceo performance or other things that might affect tesla stock price right or dividends right or any other things that might affect Tesla stock price or economy, those are going to be random shocks. So what you do is you, cal uh, you uh, follow Tesla stock price daily or you can even follow Tesla stock price by the minute, right? That's a very frequent, even smaller unit. So daily Tesla stock prices and daily company performance measures. So that's a time series data set. One firm, you look at the data over time. This is what we have, for instance, inflation data. Inflation data. One country, right? You can focus on USA inflation over some period of time and money supply, monetary policy. Cross-sectional data is a data set in which the data for the dependent and explanatory variables are collected from many different firms and industries at a given point of time. Just like in this sales example, this is January sales, 
right? Jenner sells for multiple agencies and we have advertising expenditure data. We also have sales data, okay? Scatter diagram, we're going to use scatter diagram, a graph of data points in a sample. So going back to this folks, it is really important what to understand what we're doing. What we're doing is that I have data, right? Sales and expenditures. I can determine the relationship. I can, you know, you have all over the place. You, what you are doing is basically this. That S was a mistake. I'm going to raise this. So you have ad spending and sales, right? We don't have a straight line. This is a true relationship. I don't know this, but I have a bunch of data points of different companies. Let's say in a point of time, cross-sectional data. I'm trying to find the best line that fits, that minimizes these error terms. These residuals are being minimized. We'll talk about that, okay? So the, try to minimize the distance between these points to the line we're trying to find the best fitting line and this is going to be si head plus equals a head plus b head ai okay once you find this then this is the underlying relationship you determine the quality of this estimate estimated uh, coefficient estimates this regression line and next step will be oh then i can actually plug in any value what if i spend five thousand dollars some other company plug this in what will I get what's the uh, expected sales I'm going to get okay so I'll see you in part three